So I just received this email today and it says, Teacher, in your 100 derivatives video, number 25, the derivative for x to the y is equal to y to the x. This is the answer that I got in the video. But that's the answer that he got. Hmm, so how are they the same? Well, let's take a look. So let me just mention this real quick. In my video, I took natural log both sides first so that we can bring the exponents to the front and then we do implicit differentiation. I will have the link to my 100 derivatives video in the description so you have practice uh, after this video. Now, let's see how we can do it another way. Notice, we have a function to a function power so we cannot take the derivative of this directly. We like to have base e for taking the derivative. So for the x, we are going to purpose write it as e to the ln x power because the e and ln cancel, so we still have the x back. And then we still have the y's power right here, but we can multiply the exponents, so let's put a y right here. And now let's do the same thing on the right hand side. Write this y as e to the ln y, and then take this raised to the x power, just multiply the exponents right here. Now, with space e, we can take the derivative much better, right? And let's go ahead and do implicit differentiation because the y is not isolated. So, taking the derivative of e to the something, this right here states first. It's like e to the box, right? e to the same thing. And then, use the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of this. But, this is y times ln x. So we have to use the product rule. I'm going to keep the first function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x. And then we add the second function times the derivative of the first. This is y, and y is a function of x in this situation. So the derivative of y with respect to x, it's exactly the dy dx that we're trying to get. And then let's do the same thing for the right-hand side. e to a box. So the derivative is just that first. It repeats. And then multiply by the derivative of the box. Again, product rule in action. Keep the first function times the derivative of the second. Derivative of ln y is 1 over y. And then multiply by the derivative of y which is the dy dx. Again, because of the chain rule and y is the function of x. Continue plus the second function, which is the ln y, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. Yeah, just like that. Now, the rest is just about simplification. Have a look. What's this? It came from here, right? And this right here is just x to the y's power. So. Let me make a little note right here. So I'm going to take the x to the y's power and then distribute this inside. So now we just have to multiply x to the y with this. Let me write down the y first. And then x to the y times 1 over x is x to the y over x. But they have the same base, so we can write it as x, take the y, minus 1. Let's just subtract the exponents. And this looks really cool because it looks like we just look at this and then do the usual power rule. Bring the y to the front and minus 1. But of course, that's not how you take the derivative in this case. We have to do more. Next, we take this, multiply with that. So we add x to the y, ln x, dy dx. And then this right here, same thing. It is y to the x. Take this, multiply with that, put down the x first y to the x over y is y to the x minus 1, and then we still have the dy dx. Take this times that, so we have plus y to the x, ln y. Now, we are going to move this to the other side and then factor out the dy dx. So, check this out. Let's do this in your head. I am going to keep this on the right hand side. So, y to the x, ln y. This part didn't have the dy dx, so I have to move this to the other side, so it becomes minus y times x to the y minus 1 power over 
After we move this to the other side, factoring out the dy dx, we will have this minus that in the front. We will have to have that on the bottom. So x to the y ln x minus x y x to the uh, y to the x minus one. So that's the answer that you will get if you approach it by doing this. So now, how is this the same as that? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Usually, when you do implicit differentiation, go back to the original. Have a look. Y to the x. It's the same as x to the y. So we can just replace that. And that's how you can further simplify this situation. I'm going to keep this as how it is, though. So this right here, let's write it as x to the y. And then we have ln y. And then this is minus. I will keep the y. But this is like saying x to the y over x. And you see, we have x to the y right here which is really good. On the bottom, I'm going to keep this in terms of just x to the y. And then this right here, well, we have the x, and then this is y to the x over y. But this right here is x to the y. So I'm going to write down minus, and then we have the x, and then this right here is x to the y over y. Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody has x to the y. So we're just going to divide everybody by x to the y. And notice we have a small fraction here and that was a small fraction. The lowest common denominator for this and that is x, y. And again, divide by x to the y. So in the end, when we take this multiply by that, x to the y cancel, we have x, y times that. Next, this and that cancel, x and x cancel, y times y is y squared. Do the same thing, this and that cancel, we have x, y, ln x minus, this and that cancel, y and y cancel, x and x is x squared. That, we are done.